When adopting Agile and DevOps, epics are a helpful way to organize your work and create a hierarchy. GitLab helps companies by organizing larger tasks through epics and issues. For their upcoming release, AwesomeCo wants to have a 1.0 launch for their flagship products. In order to do that, they have to collaborate and have work delivered from each of the different value streams. For example, an epic has been created here, as well as a mobile app interface within the consumer products team, a web app interface sub-epic, which is a capability within the consumer products group, as well as infrastructure and APIs that the service group needs to deliver. These can further be decomposed down into features. The account flow needs to be created. Within that, some web user app settings need to be managed. Let's say that you want to decouple web app user settings from create account flow. You can drag and drop your epics to reparent them right within this view. You can also drag and drop epics to reorganize them, visualize them differently, sequence things out in a different way, or change the paired construction. In this view, you can also add new issues and create new epics. Let's say a team member missed some scope and needs to add something to the logistics group. You can select a group that you want to create the epic in, add some reporting for the supply chain, and create that epic. GitLab will create this epic nested under the 1.0 launch. A logistics group was created, so the epic is visible there, but it's also automatically pulled up into this higher level one volume launch. Epics can be managed and scheduled in two different ways. You can set some fixed dates, setting the start date and due dates manually, or epics have something called inherited dates. Inherited dates work like this. GitLab will scan all of this epic's issues down to the lowest level, determining their tasks, maintenance items, bugs, and stories. It then picks an early start date based on the issue's assigned due dates, iterations, and milestones, and that milestone start date. GitLab then looks at the latest start date it can find across all those time ranges and dynamically keeps us up to date. In terms of planning breakdown, you start with your scope and decide what you need to call this complete. As the team starts to break this down and plan it into releases and iterations, you can see exactly which items need to be completed based on the team's estimates and scheduling. This is a great way to signal upstream if you need to cut scope or negotiate trade-offs, depending on if you're on a fixed schedule or a fixed scope basis. You can set epics as confidential to ensure they won't be visible downstream. And you have a rich audit history for every change to the epic, who changed it, and what they did. Epics also have discussions. You can have threaded discussions directly within the epic and see changes in the description as you edit over time. Anytime there's a change, it will show up as a note within this block. A practical driver for most Agile and DevOps teams, GitLab epics and issues help you organize your work. Whoa.